A company discovers that to produce x equals 980 new electronic parts, it will cost y equals $86,720. To produce 750 new electronic parts, it will cost $67,400. Assuming the cost function is linear, we're asked to compute the slope and choose the most accurate statement from the following. The slope will tell us whether costs are increasing or decreasing and by how much per item. If the slope is positive, costs are increasing. If the slope is negative, the costs are decreasing. To help us determine the slope though, let's write the given information as ordered pairs, where in general an ordered pair would be x comma y. In this case it's going to be the number of electronic parts comma the total cost. So the first ordered pair is going to be 980 comma $86,720 because to produce 980 items, it costs $86,720. And the second ordered pair would be 750 comma $67,400. Now that we have two ordered pairs, we can determine the slope by determining the change of y divided by the change of x, or in our case, the change in total cost divided by the change in the number of items. And let's do this on the next slide. To keep things organized, let's call this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one, and this ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. So the slope is equal to y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one, or in our case, the change in cost, which would be 67,400 minus 86,720, divided by the change in the number of items, which would be 750 minus 980. The difference in the numerator here is negative 19,320, the difference in the denominator is negative 230. And now simplifying this quotient, negative 19,320 divided by negative 230 is equal to 84. The slope is equal to 84. Let's also include the units. Because the numerator is in dollars and the denominator is the number of items, the units on the slope would be $84 per item. So because the slope is positive, this means the costs are increasing $84 per item. So going back to our question, the only two options that have $84 in them are these two here. And because the slope is positive 84, the most accurate statement is that the costs are increasing at a rate of $84 per item. I hope you found this helpful.